Okay. All right, so I'm going to use this number nine. And I'm going to put water on the paint paper. And then some paint. When I have water on the paper, I can't do those twists and turns like I can. No, it fades later to paper. Yeah, see, it doesn't, doesn't keep it. It just spreads out. So I kind of think I don't like putting water on. But something else happens instead. It ends up just making a background because it's it's hard to get a really thick col color when it's so wet. So it ends up that after it all dries, I can do something with it. You know what I mean? That <clears throat> right now it, it's not very uh, dark. So I, uh, you know, it's really wet. Yeah, it's too wet. See, I, I don't want it to bleed out, and it won't not do that until it's dry. So I like that. See what I mean about that first part of what I did is really going to be background. Yeah, and it's not the background, not the sky. Yeah. Over. Okay, so I'm putting in some trees, I guess. And uh, I'm not sure that that's it's I think it's going to be irredeemable, irredeemable. lost cause. Maybe not. I'm trying to get a dark color. I keep, I've, in this spaces in here, I put a lot of different colors in there and they just all bleed out. So. That's the price I pay for too much water. See, it just all squishes out. Yeah. But I'll wonder if I just get my br dry brush to go in there like that to take the water out. See what I did? Oh my goodness. With a dry brush, instead of putting paint down, it's absorbing what's there.
So it's lightens it up anyway. That's interesting. Of different things that I see happening. And I'm going to put some color in there, maybe some yellow. That lighter area. Red. And I'm going to use the straw to blow it. Oh, I don't like that. Kind of frustrated with this, Catherine. Maybe I should start over. Okay. I think I'm done. So, well, uh, we can talk about this tomorrow. And, uh